What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to what will undoubtedly be a phenomenal journey. This is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, man. So excited for this. Bonus items are offered as thanks for playing various versions of the game to claim these bonuses. First, confirm the eligible save data is present. The Rebirth demo, I get the Kupo Charm. I did not play the demo, but having a remake, I get Leviathan Summoning Materia and... Playing intermission, I get Ramu summoning materia. Let's go, baby. Give me them summons. Yeah, boy. Uh, so, full disclosure, I have not played the demo. I've actually avoided almost all of the, the pre-release coverage they did for this game, so I'm going in as blind as possible. Obviously, huge, huge thanks to Square Enix for a review code of the game. Uh, this is one that's been... I, I've had to dodge spoilers left and right for this, because... <laughs> There's, you know, they had all the different gameplay showcases going on. They had the demo going on, and I was like, no, no, we're so close to release. I don't want any of it. I want to I wanna experience it all myself. Um, so we're going to go dynamic difficulty. This is new with the game. It basically adjusts the enemy uh, based on our level. So, like, we don't out-level or under-level content, so I think that'll be super good. Uh, I like that. Let's see. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else. Uh, camera... Where are buttons? I'll need to change my uh, my dodge at some point. Audio actually looks like it's pretty loud here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna notch that down to probably seven, I think, and then I'll I'll check this first episode after I'm done. Uh, might bump it back up, but we'll see. Uh, do we want to do a story so far? I think let's 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 do the story so far. It'd be good to recap so things. Much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche, among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. 
the vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. The Sulean troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, and the Whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was That's a pretty there, good recap. Beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Oh man, just gets you excited, doesn't it? Um, we already checked. Oh, if, cool, if you did Rebirth, in addition to completing the Nibelheim portion, will allow you to skip it in the main game. No, I'm not worried about the survival set. Or, or I think we're just gonna, we're gonna jump in. Default, talk about whether or not sound such as dialogue will play. Dynamic, active. Ah, oh, let's do it, baby. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter. scale of the destruction is pretty insane to see.
I think the craziest thing about this is like, you know, even though I played the original, things are, are clearly changing. Like, Zack was not here back then. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It, uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up, which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier. Who's right? Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! Press for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick, get the camera off him! Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Alright, looks like I can't break those boxes. Hang on, I'm gonna, um... Can I not? I guess I can't pause it. Is there an options in the corner? Photo mode? I was gonna turn down sensitivity. It's very, very responsive. Too responsive.
Oh, this is surreal. the holy materia. got the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. But little there was. It was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission. Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. Wait, so everything we just saw with the... It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? Alright, I'm, I'm already a little confused here, so hold up. Because the end of the game... I'm trying to remember, I think it was, where did I do the, I'm trying to remember how it, because it ended with them, I thought, getting away and beating fate, but I remember we played Crisis Core, and I remember at the end, I want to say it was the end of Crisis Core, you were basically fighting off an endless amount of soldiers for Cloud, and then they alluded that that was going to chain into this game, so I think that's current events, but it said five years ago, which is right, I think, the cutscene we're going to see, but then they were all just, oh man, I'm going to need to like, Recap the new timeline when I get out of this. I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. That's not cloud hey, if you haven't realized it yet. It in. Sorry. How can do? Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with new time. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our dwell! Let's go.
You take one, I'll take the other. Sothroth just bodying. He was in a different league from the rest of us. where they built the first reactor, right? Yeah, it all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Because right now with them talking, that, that's the part that I'm confused about. Like, I know the Nibelheim events are five years in the past, but... <sighs> they were just being carted off. Like, the events that happened with Zack and Cloud, that's current time. And the events we're seeing right now is five years in the past. So them hanging out in a hotel room discussing this events, where is that occurring in the timeline? I'm guessing it's after it's after we, you know, escape back out of Shinra, but it's throwing me off. After I record this, I'm gonna go back and rewatch the ending just to to you know get my my head back on straight. Home sweet home, right? Tell me. How does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Photo mode. I'm not worried about that. Um, just gonna turn down sensitivity. Pull back. Oh. Let's go down to two. Yeah, it feels much better. You guys need anything? Do I have my material yet? Let me look. I'm liking the new UI a lot. Oh, 
Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud... Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. I assume I'm supposed to find Tifa. There we go. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away, and all that. we hung out that much we had our reasons <laughs> our reasons huh <laughs> bet most of them had to do with you
You went into my room? I did. <laughs> Did you actually play it? I don't know anything. I don't know anything about piano. Best I could do would be like Mary had a little lamb or something. You could have just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Cloud cringe confirmed. I wonder if you like play an actual song if their dialogue changes. I would assume so. Arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Ooh, was that like Tifa's instructor, I guess? Perhaps you know her. Yeah, it is. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. This is all... This is all new. Didn't really notice at the time. But looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived... Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. 
Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah. I... Guess we were. Later. For a while. Hang on, Tifa's talking about this like the reactor cloud was, was actually there. I was Bro, this... looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Thank God, with the timeline changes, it's... I, I honestly, I just need to forget everything I, I know about Final Fantasy VII, I think. So, I mean, this is even covered in, in Rebirth, but Cloud wasn't the soldier that went up to Nibelheim. Cloud Cloud was just one of the regular Shenra foot soldiers, and it was Zack that did all this. And, uh, you know, Cloud gets Mako poisoning, essentially. You probably already know this, but our reactor starts the first thinking of he's time. Zack. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. But this is like Man, a whole new timeline, it seems. All over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. This is just so wild to see to me. Like even more than the remake, like just the the open landscape and whatnot. It's like seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Holding the button will allow you to follow up the sweeping slash, press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack, or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. Oh, Clouds! Gots combat! Looks like you got a little, uh... Upgrade! Damn! This is how it's going to be. 
There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. I mean, growing up, like, Seven was was probably the the RPG that got me into RPGs. Press and press X before it fails to either jump on the foe or retreat to avoid a fight. Feeling for a strike, your ATB gauge will fill. All yours. <laughs> ATB commands, X opens the menu. It's then ATB charges. Yes, it's all very similar to how it used to be in the last game. You're done. Soldier, you can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Might swap R1 and L1. Just tapping R1 to block this is so weird to me.
Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. It's definitely still Zack. Because the, you know, everything. He's, he's sitting there doing his, his squats. This is absolutely Zack. still locked. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to, to easily just rebind those two. I'll do it after this episode wraps. I'm sitting L1 to block and then R1 to pull up my menu. I think that makes a lot of sense. Look, I don't know if the game, if I'm playing in uh, performance mode right now, or if I'm in uh, fidelity mode. I mean, it looks really good right now, whatever it is. check let's see options graphics oh wow this is graphics mode damn i was gonna say like i'm not you know frames seem really solid here considering how fast clouds combat is i think we'll probably stick in graphics this looks great As well, oh, oh, some middle of an action, so I can't pause. Locations marked to perform contact sensitive actions such as squeezing or climbing up ladders. Got a 
make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I'd be considered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes! boost does that boost the material level or my level increase level of linked material by one shit um what are we gonna be fighting um I, mean, I could slap it on assess assess all targets let's go that and then we'll put Just get some combat practice in, so it definitely seems like Cloud's combo potential this time is a lot higher than in the first game. Perfect parry is nasty. Oh my goodness. Shit. It brought up it brought it up and I immediately pulled it down. Too, that you could do to well that's that some kind of like Mako monster never seen that before the purifier connected to this Mako unit. Okay, so my putting it out that way and it's gonna like vacuum up the gas, I guess? It is. Mako gas levels reduced by 20%. And I'm guessing this is everything I would have done on the demo, but... Mako gas levels reduced by 70%. Like I said, I didn't I didn't want anything. I wanted no spoilers going into this. No Mako gas detected. Elevator access granted. Alright, well I have a feeling that proceeding from here is probably gonna we're gonna be getting close to triggering the events of 
the Nibelheim reactor. So uh, let's wrap up here for part one. I do want to go back and, and check audio levels, make sure everything sounds good. But this looks like it is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So y'all stay tuned and I will have more coming your way soon.